Hello, my name is Maddie Baldwin, and the movie I chose for this assignment was As Good As It Gets, starring Jack Nicholson, who portrays a man with anxiety disorder, or more specifically, obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD. Um, according to psychguides.com, OCD is an anxiety disorder that generally causes, causes extreme discomfort. Sufferers are often riddled with persistent and recurrent impulses and thoughts and images that are unwanted. Um, Jack Nicholson's character, Melvin, um, beautifully shows all these symptoms. One of the first scenes in the movie is actually um, his routine when he gets home from whatever he was doing that day. Um, he, um, his recurrent thing is the number five. So he has two locks on his door that he unlocks and locks five times to lock it. And every time he turns on his light, he turns it on and off five times. Um, and there's also the stereotypical OCD like things throughout his house like everything is really neatly stacked and in order and everything's really clean and stuff like that um he also doesn't step on cracks on sidewalks which is actually a very common thing for people who have ocd and he also doesn't step on cracks on tiles which is why in the scene where he needs to buy a suit and tie because the restaurant he's going to is the suit and tie only he um doesn't actually go into the store because there's a tile thing right in front of the door and so he just buys the first suit and tie he sees from outside the door. Um, another symptom he portrays throughout the film is discomfort on multiple occasions. Um, most people with OCD, like Melvin, don't let people touch them. And um, he shows a particular discomfort around colored people and fags, as he calls them. Um, he also refuses to sit at a different table at his favorite restaurant, and he needs to have the same waitress every single day. Otherwise... His whole day is just ruined, according to him. And he also keeps a very, very timely schedule, so he has to be at a certain place at a certain time every single day. Um, I believe this is a very accurate portrayal of what it's like to live with OCD, especially in how his relationships with other people are portrayed. And um, people just see him as a rude and bitter man, and I think it really opens up the audience's eyes to what it's actually like to live with OCD because most people would just think he's rude, but he's actually trying to fight these urges that he just really can't fight. Um, uh, one way to deal with OCD, um, you can receive medication, which um, relieves a few of the symptoms, or you can receive psychotherapy. However, in the film, Melvin expresses how he doesn't like pills, probably because they're not clean, which is what OCD is really all about. They just don't like germs for the most part. There are some cases where that's not true. Um, um, according to Psychology in Action, some people can take medication and lead highly successful lives. Um, it gives a few examples of um, celebrities who have it, like um, David Beckham and Justin Timberlake. Um, however, it is very common for people with OCD to not enjoy or to participate in psychotherapy or medication because they just, it's out of their comfort zone and they just don't like it. Um, Melvin's OCD impacted the relationship he held with people. Um, the first example they show is with um, his neighbor, Simon Bishop, who is a gay man. And um, he is incredibly what we would consider rude to him. He yells at him, he throws his dog down a trash chute, and um, he uh, just, he gets really defensive when he tries to touch him, and just really, like, when he tries to talk to him and stuff, he gets, he just doesn't enjoy it, and when he brings his gay colored friend into the picture, that's when he really gets uncomfortable and defensive, and um, it also affects his relationship with the love interest in the movie, Carol, who is also his waitress at the restaurant he goes to every day. Um, he, she seems to deal with his outbursts a little bit better. Um, she kind of knows how to handle him and when he needs to just calm down and how to wait for his turn and stuff. But when he mentions her son, who has an illness himself, she, being the human that she is, screams at him and has an outburst at him. And um, that's when you really see how much um, OCD can make a person suffer in their relationships with others. Um, personally for me, I believe that living with this disorder would be a very, very difficult task. Um, I, I don't honestly don't think I could handle it. Like, I'm not comfortable in my own skin as it is being a young teenage girl. And so living in constant anxiety on top of that 
would just be terrible. And I really, really admire people with OCD who go about every day of their lives and live happy lives and full lives and can do these kinds of things and all like be a mostly normal person except for this one little tick that they have. And also the haunting images that come with OCD sometimes must be just terrible and I really admire people who can live with this disorder and go about their normal lives. Um, I think As Good As It Gets was an excellent movie. Jack Nicholson's portrayal was very, very accurate and really showed what life in a person's with OCD is like. And it inspired me to learn more about OCD itself and other mental disorders so I can better um, handle myself around people with those disorders. Um, just some more information about OCD. Um, Psychology in Action says that um, more adult women than men suffer from OCD, and um, men are more likely to be affected during childhood than women. Um, HealthyPlace.com says that there are around 1% of American adults who have OCD and about 1 in 200 children. Although children usually aren't diagnosed until they're a little older, um, but when they are diagnosed, they can think back to their childhood and see really where their symptoms started. Um, the National Institute of Mental Health says that those who suffer from OCD can also suffer from other mental disorders like depression. And um, they also may suffer from small tics like some have eye blinking or shoulder twitching or something like that. Um, causes of OCD may be um, in their genetics, like if someone in their family tree before them had OCD, they're more likely to get it. Um, the, it can also be due to a malfunctioning um, cerebral cortex in the front of your brain. Or um, the most portrayed cause is an abuse in your childhood. Um, Melvin says he was beat with yardsticks by his father when he wouldn't play piano right. And I don't know if that's necessarily what causes OCD, but it definitely didn't help. Um, there is no known cure for OCD, obviously, but um, known treatments are, again, medication and psychotherapy, which can ex include exposure and response prevention, as um, which means say a person doesn't like their hands being dirty so they're exposed to something that makes their hands dirty and then not allowed to wash their hands that would kind of be an example of what that therapy would be like um most sufferer, sufferers of ocd are very uncomfortable with these treatments for understandable reasons and most just simply live with their urges or try to ignore them which unfortunately just adds to their anxiety um my sources were Psychology in Action, Psych Guides, National Institute of Mental Health, and um, thehealthyplace.com. And I really enjoyed being in your class, and thank you for listening.